In example one, we're going to use what we just learned about doubling time and half-life in order to solve this particular uh, question about the population of penguins. It tells us that our population, or P, the final population of penguins of a certain area in Antarctica, can be modeled by the relationship P is equal to PO times 2 uh, to the exponent T over 90, Okay, where T is the time measured in months, so that's the unit of time that we're using, and PO is the initial number of penguins. Okay, uh, So we want to know what the value 90 represents in this formula. And so based on, we know that this is going to be a, a doubling time question. Okay, And we can tell that it's going to be du a doubling time question because in the formula, the B value is 2. That means it's a doubling time question. So the 90 represents the amount of time so the time it takes the population to double. Okay, so 90 is the amount of time. That, that is the doubling time. So this piece right here, that tells you what the doubling time is. Okay, So 90 is the doubling time of this particular uh, population of penguins. So let's say that there were 800 penguins in the region today. How many would there be in nine months or two years? Okay, Well, if there's 800, 800 is your starting value. Okay, so that becomes your PO or your B value. So I'm going to substitute that into my original equation. So I know that I've got P is equal to PO times 2 to the exponent T over 90. Okay, uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in my value for PO. So final population is equal to 800 times 2. Okay, and I know that the time that I'm looking for here okay, is nine months. So I'm going to make my uh, substitute that actual time in to my equation. So I've got nine divided by 90. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually simplify this. Okay, I'm going to turn my exponent into a decimal because uh, in this case it'll be nice and clean. So if I do that I end up with p is equal to 800 times 2 to the exponent 0 0.1 because 9 divided by 90 is 0 0.1. So now I just have to solve using Bedmas. So I gotta do my exponent piece first. So 2 to the exponent 0 0.1 times 800 uh, it's going to tell me that my population is going to be uh, 857-ish, approximately, uh, after nine months. Okay. So what will it be after, say, two years? Okay. Well, after two years, we need to figure out. Okay. Well, how many months are in two years? Well, in two years, if the if our doubling time is given to us in months. Our time has to be given to us in months, our actual time. So two years times 12 months in each year, that's going to equal 24 months. Okay. Uh, what if I asked you in, say, eight years? Okay. So let's actually change this. Let's say eight years. Okay. So if I want to know how many months are in eight years, I need to do 8 times 12, and that's going to give me 96. So there are 96 months in 8 years. So I'm going to actually solve this. I'm going to solve it for 8 years. I'm interested to know how many penguins there are going to be after 8 years. So I'm going to plug in my formula. Again, we've already substituted in the number of penguins that started there. So we know that's 800 times 2 to the exponent 96 over 90. Okay, well, 
If I do 96 divided by 90, it gives me a pretty ugly decimal. Okay. So my exponent, I would say, be 1.067. So 1.067. So now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to solve this particular problem. So I'm going to do my uh, follow my order of operations. I'm going to do the exponent first. So 2 to the exponent 1.067. I'm going to multiply that by 800. So after eight years or 96 months, I would have a final population of about 1,676 penguins. Okay, so again, you're just substituting in the information that you've got, and again, really key is that you always do your conversion, okay? You have to have uh, the same time value or the same unit of time for both your doubling time and your actual value, okay?